ba 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 Wait, am I even on the right mic? <laughs> Reporting for duty, Hello. Admiral Stinky, 07. Rear Admiral Sith here as always to give I... you the daily debriefing. <laughs> for usual, we begin with our D. Oh After yes, Grace, it is deep time. Back down our throats. We move on to sending those live pings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And to top things off, hope you had a nice big poop already. I think I've set up the ASMR mic real good today. Womp womp. I hope I'm not setting expectations too high. When I was testing it, I thought it was really good. I do have a concern though. The concern being, I think when I'm now accidentally being too loud, it is a lot too loud. As in, it's a lot of lot. It's not pleasant. Yay. We'll see. We're gonna test it before. I think it was pretty good when I tested it, but it's always different when streaming, you know? I think it'll be really nice. It'll, we'll see, we'll see. We can trial and error for a couple minutes, five, ten minutes, no problem. Oh, thank you, Seth. Appreciate it. Wow, wow. Hell, uh, hell, hell come down. Three. <laughs> I took a dark turn. What the fuck? <laughs> hell come. <laughs> yeah, you will just have to let me know how it sounds. Feedback is greatly appreciated. There's a difference between backseating and feedback. Womp, womp, so don't be afraid Australia. to let me love know if it's shy, too quiet, love. if it's crackly, if it's... The PC is too loud, if, if me talking is too loud, if, me, if I'm talking too closely into the mic. Because usually I talk very much directly into the mic. I think I set it up well, but I don't think I can no longer be directly next to the mic. I think! We'll see! That's a problem for later. For now we chill. Thank you for the Australian womp womps. I'm gonna take my day. I have the tea. I'm not gonna play Minecraft. I love Minecraft with all my heart, but Minecraft attracts a certain audience I'm very uncomfortable with. <laughs> Girth control! Now Finally, that's a name! The Thank you for the for always keeping us company shy, Pat. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much. Bum Who here? It's way too early to ask this many questions. I'll probably have to ask them again in like 10, 15 minutes. But who who was watching the Yaks cast stream? Was it fun? <laughs> I'm sorry if people were disappointed with my performance or energy. I, I genuinely did have a care like when I was rehearsing my role, as in I wasn't rehearsing as in I d nothing was scripted at all whatsoever, but in my mind I had a different energy in mind when I was gonna do my part. But when I actually Almost when I actually ago. saw the Yakas do their thing, I felt like that energy wasn't matching. It was too much. It was, it was too much. It was too much. It was too much. So I, I toned it down a lot, a lot. I was going to do a bunch of jokes and make fun of British people and stuff like that. <laughs> but even though we rehearsed it with like all the, the British people jokes and whatnot, I felt like yeah, I was going to go full gremlin and Yandere mode, but um, and, and, and make fun of British people. But um, I felt like that energy when it actually came to it did not fit. It was still lots of fun. Ahoy, Admiral Lily. Ahoy, me hello. You were amazing. I can't <laughs> believe you tortured that man with a water gun. I know. Glad you I shot them the after. <laughs> also, thank you for the tier two. Let me just Six see. Six months of womps. That's a lot of womps, dude. Thank you for the half Five of your month, womp. two hearts, two hearts. I don't know how long I can stream today. I'll, I'll tell yes. you in a sec why. I'm, I'm looking for the tier two sub that I missed earlier. First. Where did it go? Where did it disappear to? Help. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, there! Kitsune! It's been four months. I've laughed, I've cried, I've even questioned my sanity. <laughs> Damn, I'm glad to be here. I'm finally home. Fritz, thank you for the tier three! <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I think I'm a... Okay, okay. Pause. I'm gonna do the tags. I am from the EU, yes. I want to do tags and then we emerge and then we chat. Uh, not tags, what am I saying? Life notification tweets and pinks. 
that stuff. God. Pat 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 shy rave. It was really fun. Was, I had a great time yesterday. Everyone is. Oof! Everyone is amazing. Ah oh, shit! The copy pasta is gone. I have to recopy pasta. The Twitter makes image quality just awful. It looks so bad. It's such a high quality screenshot, but it looks so awful on Twitter. I hate Twitter. Send now. Publish. Yes. There we go. Wow, wow. Good morning, evening, uh, late afternoon, early afternoon, noon, high noon, n night, and very early morning to everyone. Kuda, thank you so much. Do a podcast of the Bikini Bottoms again? We are, I should you not planning one. But it was supposed to be just you, I didn't have time. You should really work on your water gun torture techniques. What? I feel like you could have gotten more information out English. of that guy. If you need some practice, I know someone who would be willing to be your test subject. <laughs> God, it was, it was really fun. Uh, one thing that was difficult. Uh, let's emerge first and then we can talk. Womp womp. Womp womp. Yes, what a torture. Hello. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Boom. Isn't chat beautiful? Look at, look at chat. Look at it. I fixed the fonts. It's so pretty. It's so large. It's so big. Is it just ignoring seconds? TTS. All right, I get. I'll. I'll replay that one. Hi, Saint Yorkit. Hello. I had so much fun yesterday. Yeah. I had to laugh all the time. <laughs> Me too. My stomach was already hurting. <laughs> and then I... came your performance. <laughs> Jokes aside, you were very entertaining. Shy. Oh, thank you. I'm very happy inside. Phil, thank you so much for the five gifted. Nivian, thank you for the subby. It was... I was gonna... I was gonna... Like I said, I, I I had so much more planned, but I felt like... um. Also, the whole thing took a long time, hi, and I, 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 I felt a little one. pressure, because um, that took a very long time on the puzzle, and I felt like they were spending more time on the thing than they were wanting to initially, because they had like to take a break in between and stuff like that. And then at some point they arrived at a point where they're like, how long is this? And I was like, maybe I shouldn't, you know, make such months, a big deal out so of my part and just like kind of get it done with because I don't want to make it about me either. That's very rude to do. I we clown them in Discord <laughs> because I couldn't do the puzzle. <laughs> where do I sign? Admiral! <laughs> I was gonna make some pee pee poo poo jokes because I saw like this guy in a toilet, but I was like, I don't wanna. It's the first time interacting with any of these people, and then there's such a large audience. I it felt inappropriate to to drag it out longer, but looking back at it, I probably should have. Cause looking back, I felt like I rushed my part, but when I was in the part, I felt like. I wasn't going fast enough because I felt like everyone was doing their part so Three fast months. and fluent and one I one. took so long. <laughs> so I, I like hurried up a little. Pure, thank you for the tier 3 subby. Wow, thank you for the th tier 3 subby. Yeah, I had to test the waters. So I'm sorry. Looking one back, I felt one. like I rushed. But I promise you, when I was doing it, I felt like I wasn't going fast enough. It was, it, it's a very different experience when you're doing it, and then when you're looking back, and I'm like, man, I rushed through my part. I did not... The, the jokes and, and stuff I wanted to do that I didn't do, I should have done. I felt like it was rushed when looking back. But I promise you, when I was doing it, I felt like I was, I was holding them there for way too long, and I was... I was, what's it called? I was, I was overstaying my welcome. I, I, I was making it too much about myself, trying to take like the spotlight. But looking back, it was fine. So it takes practice, I guess. I was, I was testing the waters, and I rather, 
I, I, I rather low blow it than overshoot it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How many people were there in the Discord call? For like instructions and actors and uh, so many people in, in my specific area and call. I think they, they were like 30 or 40 people. Cause like there were many people that weren't even in the call that were just like... Maybe not quite 30 or 40, maybe I'm exaggerating. 20 for sure though. I think two or three people that gave instructions and cues and let us know what to do, slow down or, 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 or drag it out, go slower, keep them there, stall, shit like that. It was fine. I think it was fine. I, it could have been better, but in the moment I was very nervous because I felt like I'm overstaying my welcome. Looking back, I felt like I rushed it. Very weird Willie how the experience changes. Thanks for squirting on me in my cage. <laughs> Everything turned Thank out amazing you. in the end. I'm sorry. Come back next year. <laughs> yes, Snutkin please. made a Reddit post on Yorg's Reddit detailing the workload. Oh yes! Fuck yeah! It was so much fun. I, I really enjoyed it. I'll, I'll definitely do better. If I ever part of the project again, ASMR I'll do better. Because now I have a better go. grasp of like how things go. I'll be less nervous. And... Uh, I, I know the vibe without feeling like I'm being Connor, too much, but thank you for being my test subject in the kids and being squirted on. I'm sorry for killing you. <laughs> I had to use the gun! I was so excited! I was like, I wanna shoot one person, but I can't shoot the cast. <laughs> I was I was heavily instructed to not shoot the cast, and I was like, fine, I'll squirt them with a water gun. <laughs> I was like, fine, I, I, I won't shoot the cast. <laughs> Ren Hozo. Thank you for tier 3 sub Yes. We got ASMR tonight. What do you think of Undertale music? I have a hard time remembering most of the soundtracks. Also because I, I just didn't finish Undertale. <laughs> but I like it, I think. Yes. RP never goes exactly how you feel. Yes, I... Like I said, I, I, I know I've said it like five times already, but when I was when I was doing my thing, I felt like I'm overstaying my welcome because I felt like I'm being a lot. I don't give other people time to breathe, but when I was watching it back, I felt like I was rushing through it. Very weird how like reliving the experience from a different perspective changes how you feel about what you've done. So... I'll know for next time. I'll know, I'll know better next time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ghost Profession. Appreciate it. Did I miss a gift then? No, okay. I did not. Had to make sure. I cannot sing. I died out. I swear to God, I, I cannot sing. <laughs> I cannot. Seen clips, but couldn't be there. It's... My audience is... While still largely being US, I figured... There's a reason that my audience is online at the time I'm online. So I'm guessing most people Hi, Lily. Have, have other things to do I've been at 2 in the fucking morning. Of you since last night and it's now 11 a.m. and haven't slept at all because you're so fun uh, to watch. Uh, uh, <laughs> so thanks. You need to sleep, bro! Fun Paul and Gestalen! Thank you for the tier 3 survey. <laughs> Yeah, there was so much more I wanted to do. I was gonna do like the the, the Yandere thing because like in the moment it felt great, but then I felt like the whole Uvu culture was about being cute. So I was like, I'm all just be cute and derpy. I was gonna do some toilet comments because I was like, oh shit, you need help, you know. The, my usual humor, just like, oh, oh, <laughs> on a shitter, are we? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just, oh, it was so fun. The fucking Uvu. <laughs> It was so fun. Uh, Mash, thank you so much. I don't know how long I can stream tonight. I hope I can stream plenty. I don't think it's quite that bad, but um, I don't know why, but I think I have like a sore in my mouth. It may just be... I still have wisdom teeth. And I impact it, and I think that every now and then... They try to grow, and then, like, the part in the very back of my mouth gets sore. So, it's a, it's quite painful and swollen today. I hope it goes away soon. Oftentimes, those things like to stay three, four days <laughs> before getting significantly better. Fat Fingerfin, thank you so much. 
You have wisdom teeth? Yeah, I never get rid of them. Well, they're not doing their job. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> Whore! <laughs> Oh, speaking of swear words, there was a very funny incident. I hope I'm allowed to talk about it. If not, I'm a, I'm a. <laughs> I don't think it's all that bad because no, no names will be mentioned. But basically, a very important person of the project, <clears throat> the person, <laughs> was told off by someone supervising like the the end credit scene because they were just like there naked d doing something and then they were threatened to be kicked Wait, off the server is in <laughs> when the they teeth. are they they're the person <laughs> it was really funny <laughs> oh god it was it was really funny yeah wisdom is stored in their teeth just like pee is stored in the balls mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it, was, it was really funny it was it was really fucking funny <laughs> Vampire teeth. Uh, nah. Have they? They're just like. What are they called? I forgot the name. It's not a vampire, it's just fangs. F shrimp nomming devices. <laughs> Grimslav, thank you so much for the 500. Thank you, thank you. I'm really happy they raised so much shmula for the charity. It's crazy. I saw that before and after. I was like, damn. That's, that's some, that's good shit. And it's all going to a good cause and not to some weird <laughs> corrupt people. I'm happy. Oh, fuck. I'm not a vampire, bro. I have a reflection. I'm not a vampire. Yeah, it's almost at 3 million. The thing is, I had no idea. I thought this whole event thing was like... They, they, they do it once a month. I didn't know it was the entire month where they were already at day 10 when they did that. That's fucking crazy. It's nutty. Holy shit. Hello, Colton. It is an honor and privilege to meet you too. Yeah, it's it's insane. They go ham. I couldn't. It's like a subathon with extra steps because you don't even get the profits of it. <laughs> so big respect. I could never like a big a, a, a big part of subathon and and why they work is because at least you make a bunch of profit off of it. That's like the incentive as to why the fuck he one is would in the balls, push themselves so blood much. Blood is stored in the bladder mm -hmm. and cum is stored in the heart. I. Yeah, flawless logic. I do agree. Someone paid attention in biology class. <laughs> do you like dragonfly? I love dragonfly. I love it. There's one thing I don't love yet. Two things I don't love. A blizzard in my eyes has gotten a huge W through dragonfly. They have committed, however, two L's so far. I have checked up. I have checked. Checked. I've. Check, check the rain out two else in my book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As a vampire, I can say that reflections are no longer a judgment tool since mirrors are no longer backed with silver. Well, I can guarantee you I am no vampire. I do Won't like to suck, Billy. but not blood. <laughs> cool, thank you so much. <laughs> else, I... <laughs> Hey, Sweet Sam, thank you tier three. Don't AO me! I accidentally torched mine. I can explain. Uh. What the fuck? Billy can't be a vampire. I haven't seen her at any of the meetings. Huh? Vampire meetings? Sweet. <laughs> thank you, Sweet. For a tier three subby. I'm so hyped for the ASMR, but also very nervous, because I, like I said, I think I did the settings really good, but the settings, who knows, maybe they're awful, and we'll just go back to whatever they are, usually, anyway, but, uh, PC specs, please, uh, they're, they're on the Discord somewhere, I don't know, I, I got a pretty decent PC, to say it in the most humble way possible, I am I am too smooth brain. I am too stupid to figure out how to do a two PC setup. So I had to, you know, 
get a good main PC that can do both. Can we get a lullaby in the next ASMR? I can try! I don't know any lullabies though. I'm a I'm a fucking DJ. I only know like in-game soundtracks. <laughs> uh let me see my PC specs. I can copy pasta them. Mm. Let me scroll through my DMs so people can't stalk. Ah, oh, this doesn't work because a very important DM still shows even though I scrolled. Uh, I can screenshot them like so. There is a few surprises in my DMs hidden away. And some of the thumbnails party, of the conversations are a bit obvious as to what the fuck they mean. These are my PC specs. Don't worry, I'll make it more visible. Stop crying. Anyway. They're on Discord. This is my PC. I don't know what any of those mean. I don't know shit. I just bought pieces that I was told to buy. <laughs> I So yeah, that's... that's yeah. This is this is my PC. Same honestly, I have no idea what the fuck these there's too many numbers, chat. There's too many like what the fuck? What is this? DPS? As is, is it is it is it HPS? I don't understand. What is this? Too many numbers. Oh yeah, it's expensive for sure. It's an expensive PC. Should have seen my previous build, what I upgraded from. Not 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 what I had this year. Not what I upgraded from to to, to wow. this, but the, the build before I upgraded Maybe we to can this. Make it bigger. Like Shire before, before. Can you read it now? Can you... Can you read it? I... Can you... I just realized the, the second screen is outdated. That's also part of the screen nowadays. You don't know shit? No. But that's your specialty right there. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short. You're one of the best shitters on all of Twitch. I well, I guess you damn. could sell yourself short, considering... You know, I well, always stayed in a competition, but... Holding the title of best shitter on all of Twitch. I don't know if I want to pass that one up. It's so many numbers. I have no, no idea what they mean. Only PC people will know what the fuck they mean. I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, I upgraded to this beast of a PC so to speak, uh, sometime this year after first subathon, I did the majority of my upgrades because now I was able to pay for it. Before that, I had a pretty all right PC, but it had its struggles, especially because it's a one PC setup and I'm doing VTubing, which is very resource heavy, he heavy already. My PC before that was garbage. Let's just say it like that. I've never had much money, so that bitch had to do. Speaking of no much money, there was this one YouTube comment that I just like don't agree with. I don't like to fight much with YouTube comments because it makes me feel like I'm losing that only brain cell I'll still have because some of those people are like such elves. <laughs> like, have you guys read the comments under Pierre's YouTube clip where he said, where he clips me explaining. Are you the best shitter on Twitch because you eat a lot of fiber? In fact, I know the opposite. I, I definitely need more fiber. I, I need to get into fiber supplements. <laughs> uh, that, uh, Pierre uploaded a clip of me t talking about my theory as to why I think why it just so happened that most successful large VTubers are very pretty IRL? Because someone made the comment of like, people VTube because people are ugly. That they're, they're, they're hiding the ugliness behind VTube characters. And I was like, that's not true. Because other successful VTubers I know, either in person and or because they openly show their face, are very fucking pretty. And I explained my theory as to why I think that is the way. And the amount of comments that literally like twist my words and like go go ham and like contradict what they have twisted my words into, bruh, oh bruh, I fucking, I hate YouTube comments so much. 
It's so bad. It's so like some people even go as far as to make their own conclusion Seven months, womp, womp. and make up in their head that this was my conclusion and then like disagree with the conclusion that is not my conclusion because they it's their conclusion and and like then they disagree and they're like that's not true or like people going so what Lily is saying all VTubers are ugly or like what what Lily is saying is ugly people can't be VTubers and it's, oh my fucking god oh god the comments the comments oh the comments <laughs> it's really something else it's it's really you yeah YouTube comments are something else holy shit man uh, I was this close of taking down the video because of the comments, dude. They are next level. Pepega, God, I had to. <laughs> They're next level Pepega, God. Some of these comments, it's just like, how does your mind function and come to such conclusions? I don't I'm understand. <laughs> They have too much free time. I agree. <laughs> Oh god, very much drama and comments. I don't know what that term means, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, they are like max leveled Pepegas. They are like they have like put all their stats into Pepega. Selective this thing it isn't even selective hearing. It is literally choosing to ignore what the fuck I'm saying and like making their own mind. <laughs> So in their conclusion, your conclusion was to conclude an idea that totally contradicts the conclusion that you concluded. You lost me at a conclusion, <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, I'll, those sometimes... YouTube can be a nice place when you upload the right video and it's just, you know, it can be so nice. But fuck, man, half the time YouTube is... I think the biggest issue on YouTube really is the age restriction. Ain't, ain't nobody commenting that kind of shit when they're 18 plus. I'm still mad that my roasting didn't pass the Pierre quality video. <laughs> All that roasting for nothing. In all seriousness, people will ignore anything that runs counter to what they believe. Yep. No matter what. Yep. You can literally be making a YouTube video of like, I love pie. Oh, and then the comments no are going to be all about, Lily is fat shaming. L L Lily, Lily is... And, th and then the next comment is going to be like, Lily is promoting obesity. And then the next comment is going to be like, how, how, how Lily promotes communism through sugar. And I'm like... Bro, what the fuck is going on in those comments, dude? <laughs> Not even lying. I know. It's literally true. That's literally how YouTube comments go. Holy shit. There's a YouTube comments are something else, too. <laughs> I cannot. Lily hates cake. The title of the video, Lily loves cake. Lily hates cake. <laughs> oh, my God. It is. <laughs> I just can't. I I don't know why. My big theory is that YouTube commenters are very young and very TikToky. Fire wielder, time. thank you. Womp yes, womp I'm so excited to do ASMR. <laughs> there are no signs of intelligent life anywhere. <laughs> the, yeah, Lily is promoting sugar addiction to minors. She breathes. I like breathing, man. Um, oh my god, wow, way too obliged? Against? <laughs> I don't know what obliged means. Obliged? Against people with asthma? <laughs> yeah, is YouTube caters mainly to the 19 to 15 year old? I think so too. I might have to compare ages of my audience on YouTube and Twitch. Lily's uncontrollable flatulence. The tuber died quite <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think YouTube being the way it is and the, audi the, the audience being the way it is, it's a big reason Which streamers hate to swap over to YouTube. Because YouTube comments are very childish, despite there being a YouTube right? kids app. Which the kids don't even right? use. Right? It's Good so, job, so weird. YouTube reminds me a lot of TikTok because... um. TikTok also, it's funny because I literally just talked about it today with my friends when I was playing WoW. Um, you ever see like those YouTube videos or TikToks 
where where people how do I put it how do I explain this um that be like a TikTok and that TikTok is trying to validate people's toxic feelings, insecurities and snowflake behavior and it goes literally viral with people going like yes, oh my god, me for real, for real yes, that's why I feel so alone and invalidated all the time and I'm looking at that TikTok and I'm like, why? You, you are literally just promoting snowflake behavior How how is this? How do people agree with this? How, what? How do people agree with this? I don't, what? I don't understand. How? Hey, Lily. Guess what? What? The game. Uh. Yeah, I seen that YouTube video. It's a paradox. There is no solution no matter how you slice it. <laughs> it be like that. Cause people don't feel included, You're right? You canceled. Cancel. Like, I, I thought about it because today when I woke up, I was scrolling TikTok and there was a TikTok of... So the the skit of the TikTok was boyfriend and girlfriend and the boyfriend grabs his phone, he holds it into the girlfriend's face and goes, check this out. And the girlfriend goes, not right now, give me a second because she is on her phone probably doing something. And then the boyfriend gets upset and he's like, <laughs> and then the girlfriend sees her boyfriend is upset and then she goes <laughs> and the comments are full of like yes this is why i feel invalidated me for real for real this is why i feel so lonely this is why communication is so important talk people talk about your feelings and i'm like bro dude wanted to show something on phone and she said give me a second how's that what this TikTok is going viral of people going like, me, for real, for real. How? How? I don't... This is snowflakey as fuck. H how are you upset because you want to show something to a person that's busy and they say, give me a second, not right now. You have to wait 10 seconds so they can finish their thought, sentence, whatever the fuck they are on right now. <laughs> oh, I lost it. I had to... It was literally the second TikTok I scrolled into this morning and I had to immediately get off TikTok because like I could not. That was too early in the morning. I was not having that. <laughs> what is snowflaking? Snowflaking is like being overly butthurt over literally absolutely completely nothing. And nowadays we support that a lot because i have enough snowflakes fall from the sky outside. right basically imagine like i said in a tiktok the 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 guy who who goes hey check this out gets genuinely emotionally upset and has a complete change in mood because the girlfriend says not right now give me a second that's not snowflake for behavior real, for real don't have a girlfriend to shove my phone into my <laughs> face unrealistic <laughs> they call it youtube comments and that's why i make the connection i think tiktok and youtube are very much alike because that tiktok is going viral of people going yes me for real for real this is why it's so important to talk about your feelings and valid your feelings are valid girl and that's how youtube feels because like some 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 like l underscore opinion literally like goes viral under a youtube video and i'm like why would you even comment that? What's going on in your mind to say something like that? To like validate this? What? <laughs> and literally be like top comment under a video and I'm like, what is wrong with people? What is what is wrong? I don't get it. It's like and I like how people always support their own character. You know that the TikTok goes viral because Th they are the people that don't consider the other person, basically. They they side with the person that goes, hey, check this out, and then getting upset because the girlfriend says, not right now, give me a second. What about the, the girlfriend? Is, is she supposed to just drop everything and be, oh yeah, I'm here for you, let me just drop everything I'm doing. Fuck it. Yes, show me that meme you couldn't wait five seconds. What? <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a power.
I'll still be a mute still but have a relationship. Yeah, let me just drop everything I was doing and I'll suck you off immediately. Yes, please. <laughs> What's an ASMR? Um, if you don't know what it is, you're either in for a surprise. Well, you're in for a surprise either way. But whether that's a positive or negative surprise, it's up to you. <laughs> let me open the window real quick. Love you, Sam. PSTH, 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 PSTH. You PSTH! Isn't that narcissism? Not, not narcissism? Uh, I think so. I don't know the exact definition of narcissism, but isn't it basically being selfish? Going like, well, they didn't drop everything because I wanted to show them this meme. They, I, I cannot wait five seconds. Not really, yes. Poggers. I think it's just selfish because they failed to realize that that person was busy when you walked up to them and went, check this out. You can't wait five seconds. And then the comments are like, well, it's because the longer we wait, the more it invalidates our feelings and, and our expectations of seeing your reactions has decrease significant i'm like oh my god shut Mind up down. i'm looking forward to falling right back <laughs> can't wait let's go <laughs> babe check out this tiktok hold on babe i'm literally on the toilet shitting <laughs> gets angry why do you always shit when i want to show you something so your shits are more important than me girl on toilet uh Riot? Riot? Like, I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. Wait. I stopped browsing TikTok when I saw that TikTok. Maybe it's still open in TikTok, so I can literally show you the TikTok in question. No, I cannot because I took a shit and I browsed more TikTok. Fuck. I can maybe find it. Don't, I can I can find it. No, I can I, I did not do There's much. There's a reason I oh, stopped no. viewing YouTube comments back in 2009. <laughs> Absolute hell. It's difficult cuz like I don't really read Morning, YouTube Lily. comments either cuz they're been literally giving me an for almost a year now. I have a question for you too. Yeah. When's the last time you talked to the bikini bottoms? I mean, I talked to them a lot outside streaming. I I do have a life offline too. <laughs> We're in a group chat as well. We just sometimes there's interaction outside of streaming too. But we did as wanted to do. I think it was this week to do a bikini bottoms. But I had too much already on my plate this week, so I had to do it some other time. So maybe it still works out next week. We'll see. But I think it was this week where it was supposed to be. But I I had too much on my plate. Is is too much. I, I can't I can't do so much. I'm I'm very sensitive towards workloads. I don't know how to explain it. Busy being. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Just make it. your dreams come true. Same with uh YouTubes, for example. They want two videos to promote the YouTubes, and I said, to be honest, that's just not on brand with me. <laughs> I, I I'll probably still make a video, so look out. I think I'll do one tomorrow. Womp womp. But I just didn't have time. There were two videos, and I'm like, I fully get why, but that ain't on brand. <laughs> what I do is I do a funny Twitter post and I ping everyone in Discord and I promote it on stream. But I don't really do the YouTube comment videos thing to promote something. But you know, I understand why they want it, no, so I'm I'll get on that tomorrow. But I told them... The thing is, something happened, I can't really talk... Well, I can't talk about it. But I don't want to give that... That incident any attention. Because the person causing the incident absolutely does not deserve any attention whatsoever. Even if it's completely negative. Less than three. No. S something like that. Those actions don't deserve attention, ever. Wow. You got wow. too much on your plate. That's fat shaming SMH. Right? Only oh my kidding. god. Hello, Lily. Hope you're having a <laughs> what good I'm day. What up, Gibble? So, I had to delay a bunch of my shit because, you know, I was just mentally not in the spot. And, yeah, I was like, we either have to delay the release of the YouTubes by a couple days 
because they want two videos. But now we settled on just a video and I'm like, I think I can manage. I'll, I'll do that. I always have to get an answer right away. Not because I'll be offended, but because my ADHD brain has no idea what I was trying to show you if you come back to it 10 seconds later. I... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, right? How can you have an offline life? Why aren't you... Why aren't you here all the time for us? I know. Patkill, thank you so much. No, but I think tomorrow I have the YouTube's video out to promote, um, well, YouTube's even though I did talk to them and I said YouTube video isn't really on brand. One, my YouTube has been used literally zero for marketing. Two, it's just not it. It's not my brand. My brand is to make a shit post on Twitter and ping in Discord. <laughs> That's, or rather... <laughs> Send the link to Buscani e Pinks in Discord. <laughs> Did you mean as it off? <laughs> what is this offline you speak of? Sounds. Scary. I know, right? It sounds scary. Speaking of scary, I don't think I'm streaming tomorrow. Whenever, whatever. Whenever, whatever happens tomorrow is happening, you'll know why. But I don't think I'm streaming because I would stream a little too late for my liking. And. I'd rather not. I want to stop with like the putting too much on my plate thing where I can't stream the time I want to stream, so I'm streaming late and then I basically go to bed right after and then I wake up, then I try and get some free time shit in while then going back to stream again. I I'm trying to avoid that more nowadays. So I don't think I'll have a stream Monday and probably not Wednesday because Dada's reset day. Mythic Plus is releasing, so yeah, I'm just I'm just dead as taking Wednesday off. <laughs> you have a life offline. I Sounds know, right? Sus, sussy frankly. as fuck. You fucking addict. What can I say? Shut up. Lily's brand. Hey guys, look what fell out of my butt. The U2's figure. Post tweet. Lily, why out of your butt? Lily, why not? Womp womp. Can you like not spoil my idea blandly womp like womp that? Womp. Hello? Shitting is my whole brand. Can you not spoil the, the marketing campaign? Excuse you? You bitch! The fuck? <laughs> I love your hair. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it. Bro, can you not wait for real? Uh, now I have to come up with something else. I'm not getting any clips out once Mythic Plus release. Sorry, YouTube. I got stuff to be. Got stuff to be. No, that has. I just. <sighs> Offline life, but still no mate for life. I think you kind of miss the point of the so. I'm married to World of Warcraft thing. Mythic Plus. Stop it. Burnout sucks. Better to avoid yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Good on you to try to not do too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I am... I do not want to worry anyone. I am probably... As far away from a burnout as one can Zero be. Point that Zero is. Apparently I've been subbed this whole time, lol. Ooh, that's good! 11 months! Let me open the window properly. It is so warm in here. And I will continue my thought. But first, I must open this fully. I do have more caffeine-free servings of my blowhole blast. Oh, it was here. I was looking for it in the kitchen. I was like, where the fuck is it? I can Wampo. only find the caffeinated ones. It will release probably in January. Most likely. When in January, I don't know. But probably sometime then. Where do I put my plan? Put it here. <sighs> Shit and screwdrivers, yep, that's her brand. <laughs> yep. Yep. Alright, some quick power window opening. Because when I'm doing ASMR, the window has to be fully closed. 
no AC, no winter. <laughs> no, the thing is when I'm streaming, I can't use any of those things because noise, especially ASMR, because even just my PC is already loud enough. Imagine having the window open or running the AC, bruh. Uh, what did I wanna say? Oh yeah, yeah, burnout. I don't think I, I, I think I'm the furthest, uh, furthest away from burnout of like any VTuber. <laughs> I feel like to be a VTuber, you have a, you have certain requirements. <laughs> One being emotionally unstable, the other one being a weep, and the third one being always at the brink of burnout. But I, I generally don't think I'm close to burnout. However, it is something that terrifies me because let's be honest. Married to mythic plus. Yeah, boy. Lily, are you divorcing chat? No, and you're just you married like to this? many things. <laughs> but uh. I'm very not close to burnout, but I also I'm I'm very scared of it because I feel like every time people push themselves to an actual genuine burnout and not just wow I'm exhausted, but like actual burnout, they never come back the same way. No, there's it's it it's all it, it's like something changed them from the core. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but like something genuinely changed them for the rest of their lives. And that's what's scary. And like the thing is when you when you are about to have burnout, you're about to have burnout. Give like, me like, a emote, so take my prime. I don't think I don't think what defines burnout, imagine doing something you love and it turns into something not that you hate, but something that gives you it makes you struggle. Imagine you are, I think, let's explain it in, in, in streaming terms. It turns into a chore where you no longer enjoy doing the thing you game, have though. loved. You lost the spark and energy to do that thing. So let's say I'm a just chatting streamer. I stream for good, for usually baseline minimum three hours, sometimes four. So let's say three to four hours is my, is my usual stream time. Not all that much, but let's just go with my example, right? When you are burned out from being a just chatting streamer that streams three to four hours, uh, yeah, th yeah, three to four hours, the first sign is probably struggling to keep the three hour mark, having to find yourself looking at the time and being like, wow, I still have to do this for another hour and a half. The next step of burnout is probably just like, Losing the energy. You don't know what to talk about anymore. You don't know how to talk anymore. You're no, you turn toxic. You, you no longer have that spark of joy and bubbliness and fun. It's just like, yeah, thanks. Yeah, okay. Can you shut up for it? I'm trying to do the thing. You guys aren't even listening. You, you like, you like turn toxic and, and like, the, the sparkle leaves, you know? And it's just like... S people can overcome a burnout. Womp womp. Yes, yes. But womp that's womp. often connected womp womp. to... Womp womp. But that's often connected... That's why our community is so wholesome. They are. Even if Lily took a whole week off. Oh, yes. Most of chat, what will we do without a week of womp womps? But in all seriousness, come back refreshed and rested, Lily. Just an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like yeah, you lose patience really quickly too. Imagine, yeah, when you're streaming, maybe a better example is baking cake. I'll tell you I'm in a bit. I'm emotionally unstable, a weeb and forever on the edge of burnout. <laughs> I'm a cool, funky model away from being a tuba. <laughs> Cheerful jazz, thank you. Love you. Uh, hype, thank you so much. Love you too. Top killer fishy. What up? I think baking is a good example to explain burnout. Imagine you love baking cakes, right? Imagine you love burning, uh, baking cakes. You bake a cake every single day. At some point, you enjoy it. You enjoy the hobby, but less. So you burn cakes. You, 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 you bake cakes like five times a week. Eventually four times a week. Eventually you get so tired of baking, you try and make cookies instead, right? Cake baking, I don't fucking know what it's called. I don't, cake making, I don't, I don't give a shit. 
You're autopilot away. It's no longer fun. It doesn't give you joy. When you show off your craft, you just like, whatever. Maybe you don't even take a picture. You just make it because. You just make it because, right? It's just, whatever. Whatever. Eventually you get so tired of it. You try and do cookies instead. Because, I don't know, you like baking, but maybe cake is just a bit much. Eventually you fuck up a bunch of cakes. Because you're just autopiloting. You lost a spar in dedication. They turn mediocre. Your professional amazing cakes that made you famous are just like average fucking cakes in every bakery. It's, it's, it's no longer one special, one. you know? At some point, if you keep pushing and keep pushing because it's what pays the bills, you may end up literally getting depressed making cake. Liter like, you have to force yourself to get up. You have to force yourself to buy the ingredients, to sit there and make the thing and make it pretty, make it good, make it tasty, make it look nice. You can no longer smile or sparkle when making cake. And here's why burnout is scary. Because one of the few th and only f things to fix that is because is is when you take a long, long, long break from baking cake. Do something completely... You go hiking or some shit. I don't fucking know. Collect stamps. I don't like, like I care. But you take, like, let's say three months break of from baking cakes. Now you come back to making cakes, but while it's no longer quite as bad... It don't have to sparkle anymore, still. You're happier, again, but it ain't the same. It's just not the same. You still don't quite enjoy it the way it was supposed to, and sometimes it's still difficult to get yourself to make cake. I got burnout from WoW shortly after Legion had ended. I got into watching anime full-time again from there. Mm -hmm. By the way, what is your favorite Hatsune Miku song? I don't listen If you to have not Hatsune heard of her, Miku. first off, Shame on you. Check out her song, Tell Your World. I don't... Not I because I don't like her. It's it. just I don't listen to music a whole lot. Yep, it's literally that fact. Yeah, the soul isn't there anymore. The worst part is that sometimes this thing you're burned out of is related to your income. Yeah, that's that's the... That's usually how, why people burn out. The thing they like to do is usually what they have eventually made into a job so they can't just stop doing it for Good no reason. Thing lily cake is natural. <laughs> yes! <laughs> there may be a Genshin story of a chef burning out. I, I think burnout happens a lot in the restaurant business for that exact reason. That happened in to art. me in drawing. I yes. was working See? on four different projects and at some point it became too much and I felt like I couldn't improve. Yep. It's, I think the first step of burnout starts with you no longer make cakes on the side. Just I've for the fun of it. I suffered from burnout because of my last job. I wasn't aware of it until I noticed that I lost any motivation to do even basic things. Yep. yep. I'm still recovering from it. Yep. But thanks to you, Lily, and chat, it's been getting <laughs> oh, much better. Oh, fuck. Thank life. you. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people to, to genuinely fix a burnout for good. You have to usually go through an entire lifestyle change. So if a streamer burns out, chances are they either quit being a streamer or they stream something completely else. I'm a just chatting streamer for the most part. But if I ever would burn out from that, I'll probably do nothing but gaming. Maybe tr attempt to get professional at something. Like genuinely try and get into like the 0% of like WoW Mythic Plus and shit like that. But... That, that's how I see... That would be the only fix for streamer burnout. You either quit being a streamer, or if you don't quit being a streamer, you have to change what type of streamer you are completely. <laughs> you either become an IRL streamer that goes out on travels and hikes and streams that, or a pro player, or you get good at a craft and stream that, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Long story short, that's why I try to not push myself too much because I'm an adult and I know my limits and I know I'm already very sensitive to burning out because one of my hobbies is art, believe it or not. I like doing art. Lily? Yes. Burned out? Yes. The streamer who came back to stream immediately after landing home from TwitchCon. Huh? <laughs> burned out? <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Uh, 
I still have to get the art stuff from my... From... Let me censor this piece. I don't... There's so much art I have done in the past. Some of which I'm very proud of. You know what doesn't get burnt out? Mm -hmm. Roasting VTubers. This is your <laughs> moment, chat. Go. 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 For example, I have... Huh. It sounds like I was born with burnout by default. Ha 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 ha, sad. You may just be like me and overly sensitive to burnout. It's a, it's a possibility. Okay, well, the picture is kind of nude, so I have to, like, get rid of the nude part of, you know, the thing. If I hear these things, I feel like I am in a really bad situation. Even standing up every other day is sometimes a point of me forcing myself. Yeah. It makes me question how much I am done for. Nagmunkers. <laughs> I, yeah, I... Not too long ago... I ran a small cafe. Mm -hmm. I slowly became more burnt out but had to keep going from being needed to help the employees and be there for the community. Mm -hmm. I do wish I stepped away sooner. I Your streams always help I smile. still had my own, well, bistro, I guess. Morning breakfast bistro. And believe it or not, a fucking... Oh! Taiga! Thank you so much for the riot! <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. We, we Unlike the timing, we're doing ASMR later. So, uh, <laughs> thank you, Tiger. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna do some more ASMR. It's just... <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. Thank you so much. Shout out. But yeah, we, when I do... I'm not a professional. So keep your expectations low. I cannot match <laughs> any other ASM artists. I let go a silent fart in bed last night and gently lifted the sheet to let it escape. Ugh. My wife shrieked, oh my god, that's disgusting. My eyes are watering. God, you're a special Must kind of gross. Bad. She was downstairs at the time. You're a special kind of nasty. You know what is strange? I had a reverse burnout, you could say. I was not doing the things I a loved for so burnout. long, it killed me slowly. I think in the end it is all about finding a healthy balance, and knowing what you enjoy and what not when it's the job, and find ways to compromise. You know what? I agree. Yeah. Very, very true, very true. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for the right. Appreciate it. <laughs> We're gonna... Yeah, I have the... Yeah. <laughs> We're having ASMR later. Thank you so much. You amazing ASMR is... No, you just have low standards is all. <laughs> I am... That ass, no. I'm just doing it because it's fun. I'm not professional. I, I just do it because it's funny. I like to fuck around. It's funny. So uh, keep your expectations low, chat. Also, in case you just finished with ASMR, I'm so sorry I'm being loud. <laughs> Seeing ASMR in a title may have um, triggered a different sort of expectation, but I like to just chat normally before because I'm addicted to chatting. <laughs> yeah, I'm very loud. I Yeah. Which makes rewatching this one very difficult because people have to always skip the part where I'm fucking loud. <laughs> <laughs> to to get back to the ASMR. Maybe I should just highlight the ASMR part separately. So people can just Can you loop what? You can't even do that, can you? Can you loop a what? I don't think you can. Right? Nope. Okay, maybe then it isn't that such a big problem. <laughs> maybe it isn't that big of a deal, because unlike YouTube you can loop a what anyway, so I don't I suppose it isn't the biggest problem that I'm loud before my ASMR. <laughs> I love your ASMR. <laughs> yeah, I hope. <gasps> oh shit! Speaking of heartbeat, I need to change my bra. No, fuck it. I'll just take my bra off. Whatever. Who cares? It'll be fine. I'll just take my my bra off. Don't ayo me. It 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 ain't weird. Stop it. It ain't weird. You don't see shit anyway. Who cares? My immersion. <laughs> 
<laughs> to help you wait, it's when you say it. What was I supposed to do? Oh, chat, give me a second. Okay, now we have suddenly perfect heartbeat. <laughs> How should we be able to lower our expectations when you are always nothing less than amazing? <laughs> Fuck. Dark cross, you give me too much credit. Booba. But thank you. Booba. Lord have Booba. mercy, I'm about baby. to bust. <laughs> Booba. <gasps> Sup, baby. Dimira. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Happy Sunday, you all shy, love. Include the sound of brown ASMR. I can. It just sounds like any other fabric, especially because like, how come every time I do ASMR, I'm wearing my fucking sports bra anyway? It's such a comfy bitch. What can I say? I love her. Dude, I'm all for letting a titties breathe, but girls, I cannot be the shy only one that hates when my nipples are free. Womp, womp, shy I, I like to free the titty, but I don't like to free the nipple. I don't like when my nipple rubs against my, my sweater and fabric and shit like that. I don't know. It feels weird. I don't like it. It's, it's sensitive in a, in a in a bad way. <laughs> oh, damn. Just use a pasty then? I could do that. But, like, it's not going to be sweaty if you just keep using them. Same, Lily, right? Nipple pa- Are they comfy, yeah, though? Is your chance. Get booba. <laughs> Get booba. As a dude, chill. Great, I'm, I'm happy dudes do that too. It hurts. Nipples can't grow calluses. Oh, is that why it's being so weird? Band-Aid time? I guess a band-Aid could work, maybe, I don't know. I think they have silicone your reusable ones. Won't it get smelly if you like plop the silicone thing on and you're just like... Stereotypical person calling skin you out language me English shy punch. Oh, fuck. I... <laughs> English motherfucker. Just clean them? Yeah, but like, I like my skin to breathe. I know I can wash the the nipple pad, but like, I want my skin to breathe. You know, I, I want it. You know. I do have some comfy bras. The sports bra, very comfy. Despite being a sports bra, but it's a very comfy one. I really like it. can't relate to this, I'm afraid. <laughs> Use oil so that it becomes slippery. No, I will clog my pores! <laughs> Just acclimate to it. <laughs> Cut nipple size hole into everything. But then my nipples rub against the fabric! Shy Lily, the emancipator of the titties, set the boobos free. Free the boobos from their bodies. I don't want to. I love free boobas, but I hate my nipples touching anything. What's comfier? Your comfiest sports bra or your comfiest regular bra? When I'm just sitting around, my comfiest regular bra. When I'm actually doing stuff, my comfiest sports bra. Because then everything stays in place no matter what. I. If I'm, if I'm like, out and about, I like the sports bra more because I feel like I'm more flexible. The, the normal bra I like more when I'm not moving much because it has nothing to do with titty size, by the way. But a regular bra has cups, I suppose. And if you're moving around, moving your arms up and down, stretch, you have to readjust at some point. You know, you have to eventually readjust. Shit, shit's moving out of place. It, it always will. That's just the nature of any fabric. But sports bras are like crossed over and they're like sealed tightly. Your whole chest and back is sealed up. Nothing can go anywhere. It, it will always be comfy no matter what. So that's nice. Just stop having booba. Sports bras, the right sports bras, very comfy, yes. But I have a very comfy normal All girls normal I know bra. say sports bras are often comfier for them than normal ones. Me as a guy, always the fifth wheel and wondering, why do they tell me this? <laughs> I don't know, I just want to share. Now, I have this one regular bra that's comfy as fuck. It's made out of, it's, it's a bra with a hard cup. And it's made out of silk. 
and it's really fucking nice. It's so soft and it's comfy because it's just the right size. It like tucks perfectly around my, my, what's it called? My torso, I suppose. And it's just, it's just very nice. A hard, h hard, like brass can be just sheer fabric or they can have padding. And the padding is usually like well, a sturdy then, really, and ma material. It wouldn't hurt then. That's just from <laughs> personal experience. Sorry I if this sounded rude. Also I damn ads. <laughs> Those goddamn ads. Yes, brass can get erect. You heard right. No, no, hard. Like like a like a hard shell bra. I don't know what they're called. Where like you have the cup, which is like I don't know. Girls like to talk about comfy bras because it's so rare, really. like dresses with pockets. My regular ball bra is not as comfortable when I'm walking around compared to my sports ball bra. Keeps my balls in place yep. with incredible Make sure that balls are being kept in place, yes. <laughs> I used to have those. That one is very comfy. I'm gonna have to check the brand, but I think it's a known but cheaper brand. I don't have any. When I talk about brand stuff, for some weird reason, people... I'm afraid people always expect, Oh my god, she has a Victoria's Secrets bra. Oh my god, she has a Gucci bra. No, I'm talking like Nike, Adidas, shit Why like that. Support, <laughs> but beware the inevitable betrayal when the wire escapes and stabs you. I take out the wire out of every single I'm one happy, of my shrimpy. bra. I Thanks, hate wires. Lily. Supreme bra. <laughs> So when I talk about brands, it's always just like, just not an off brand. It's like Nike, Adidas, uh, the, the Tommy, Tommy Hilfinger. Is that what he, his name is? I, f I forgot. But, Finally have yeah. money to buy my own sub. Love Let's you, go. Lily. Thank one you, point. Phantasm. Just womp it. <laughs> Nike, just womp it. Oh, Hill Figure! My bad. Yes, yeah, not Finger. Hill Figure. Kelvin Klein. It's not. It's it's a brand that's also not. It's expensive, but it isn't. Like, what the fuck is that price tag? Why is it four digits expensive? So, it's pretty nice. Please pronounce the letter E at the end of Nike. No, I don't think I will. Actually, Dada, as a German. At least where I'm from in Germany. Germany is a large country with many dialects and accents. But that is as a German, I would say Nike. I we just we just say Nike. We also do, don't say Adidas, we say Adidas. But there's so many people pronouncing it different. I just go with whatever the fuck sounds right in the moment. What I think I heard the most. <laughs> A B bus. A B bus. A B bus. Say uh, Adidas. How you say it? it's German after? All. Wait, is it? Is it German? In Germany, like I said, where I come from, there's always that one German who said, like, <laughs> "Actually, I say Nike, not Nike." I'm like, that's great for you. Germany is a big country. It is. Ah, I guess it's called Adidas then, because yeah. Adidasla? Yeah, I was just say Adidas because that's just how we say it where I am. Oh god, I actually said it in Germany. <laughs> I didn't know it was Germany either. I had no fucking idea how the fuck. Puma is also German. Yeah, but you can't really mispronounce Puma. You sorry, this I no! You take that back. I am not from Saxon. I'm I'm from whatever the fuck it's called in English, but I'm from Saxon Anhalt. Big difference. <laughs> big 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 difference. Big difference. That's like saying Dutch people are from Belgium or Danish people are from Sweden. Big difference. No, you take that back. Big difference. No. <laughs> big difference. It's not bootleg Saxon, it's the opposite. If anything, it's the opposite. Fight me, pseudo Saxon. Shut up, shut up, shut up. No, no, stop it, stop, no. 
Literally not the same. One speaks, I don't know what the fuck language that is, and the other one speaks Hochdeutsch. Not even the same. The correct Adidas pronunciation is actually the D's nuts in your face. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you son of a Shut bitch! Mm, do you celebrate Christmas, Lily, or something similar? Nah, I'm just gonna be streaming. <laughs> I'm just streaming, chat. I'll, I'll just... Yay, I'm here! <laughs> I'm trying to get my mom to come over for Christmas. She wants me to come over, and I'm super down. But also, I wanna show her that I have a the nice French place. invented French fries smile. <laughs> yes. Adidas workers tell you the whole company story when you apply for a job there and go for the interview. Damn, really? She. Zaxxon is full of right wing nut jobs. Zaxxon and Halt is just empty except Halley. You and know Lina what? That's pretty much accurate. Best Zaxxon. Feliz That's Adidas. where you're wrong, kiddo. Feliz Adidas. <laughs> I'm not scared to see my mum, but in all my years of me having moved out, she has never come to visit me. So it'll be really nice and I think also healthy for her to come do that. It it will it'll be really good for her. It's not that she hates me. We just don't have that kind of relationship. It's things have happened in our pasts. We have overcome that. But forgiving isn't forgetting. So we just don't have that Incorrect relationship. But fries it, you know. not made in France. Contrary to popular opinion, French fries were made in Greece. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I'm yoinking that, and now they're made in Lily. <laughs> Thank you for the 500, Daphne. Da da Daphne, fuck. What kind of bullshit is that? That's just how it is now. They're made inside of me, yes. You know, you know how frogs and hamsters and rabbits and all those things make boba? Well, I make french fries. <laughs> Yoinked. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> You're welcome, hello? It's dinner time, my boys. <laughs> I prefer the cucumber you <laughs> What, the used one? I'm gonna have to, that's just gonna be... <laughs> Eight months in, Entity, thank you. Follower. One large order of french fries, please. <laughs> she ate that one? Bro. So what? You just wash it! It's like, if you come on a cucumber... You can't tell me that you wouldn't just like wash off the cum and still eat the cucumber, the fuck? You just, just wash off the thing. It's not like it infected and poisoned the cucumber, you just wash it off. It's, I absolutely would not, of course. See? There's two kinds of people. Liars level. and people I who would it do it. so comfy. Thank you, Slime, for the tier 3! Uh, wash it and peel away your skin? You know what? Fine, peel it if you want to, but... Don't tell me you wouldn't fucking... Yeah, don't... Why waste the food, bruh? Why waste... I'm pretty sure that bitch has more germs and bacteria if you accidentally drop it on the floor and then pick it up. I bet. I bet! I bet if someone were to like do the samples, it will be Good way dirtier if you picked it up on the floor womp womp. and just rinsed it off of water. I bet. Three second rule. <laughs> like the girthy boy you admitted to non bikini bottoms. Too big, so you ate it anyway. Yeah, I mean, of course, food waste the fuck. <laughs> Ask it. Good afternoon, Tiberius. I hope you had a good time. It's just extra flavor, yes. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much, Korean friend. 666 octillion 666 Three second rule octillion. means you ate it without washing it. <laughs> I will 100% not eat it. Okay, it doesn't count if you don't like cucumber to begin with. That's different. That's different. That don't count. I bet just about everyone in this chat would eat it without washing it if you used it. <laughs> Anyone saying otherwise is lying. <laughs> Jokes on you. I'd have to eat cucumber in the first place for that to be true. Though, if you were the one forcing it in, I might not be a close. <laughs> See, she was right. I'm still talking she about was eating right. it, you dirty orchid. They are not liars, they are not degenerate enough, Lily, not like me, I wouldn't wash it. Bro, you always pretend like I'm the most degenerate. Like, stop gaslighting me. I am not any more... Okay, okay, okay. A hot take. A hot take. I am not any more degenerate than anyone else. I have just broken the stereotype of t openly talking about it. Yeah. I'm not coping. I just think I think it's the truth. Surely, no, don't don't shrimp. I think it's the truth. I'm just I'm just being a little maybe a little too open, and people just like that. But <laughs> you can't tell me that the people are right to dislike it. But don't come pretending you ain't the same. You just mask it. SCBA masking it. I think it should be normalized. Seasoned cucumber pot. Yeah, tasty. just seasoned. <laughs> It's the truth! Don't hate me for the truth! <laughs> Don't compare us to you, VTuber! <laughs> to be fair, compared to Bao, we're all saints. I agree, I agree. That bitch, Feral. Hello, saludos desde España. I have no idea what that means, but thank you for the two months. Are you invited to CF Malaysia? CF? What's that? Good rule of thumb. If you have been open to the internet for more than a year, you are a degenerate in some shape or form. No, 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 no. You are not a degenerate. You simply took the bandaid off. You see the air mask because you, know you realize people are just Amazon as bad. Your Prime account to your Twitch channel gives you access to one free <laughs> subscription to any live streamer of your choice. Why not use that free subscription to support this streamer right here? Smooth Alex, thank you. <laughs> Y'all didn't see me fuck up a wait, cheer. Wait, she oh, a hyper. She isn't the most degenerate in here. Blip is a mod after all. Uh, that see? motherfucker is 100% the most degenerate person I agree. we all know. I agree. Blip, Blip is a different breed. <laughs> He is a different. He is a different. Hold up. <laughs> you think we keep him around because he's a mutt? No, 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 no. You're funny as fuck. He, he's an absolute degen. In a good way, right? Yeah, sure, in a good way. Why not? <laughs> Flash and Joe, thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate it. He's a true comedian, that ass. The fair skin is too. I've I've lately been playing WoW with a bunch of my mods. It's been an absolute bliss, but I had I, I never expected Faskin to be to be such a how does one sub describe that? He is so he is just such a comedy genius. He's so funny out of nowhere. <laughs> he's just so randomly out of nowhere funny. I, I can't. <laughs> Me also funny. <laughs> He is, it, it's such a dry humor. He is the embodiment of Kek W. I, he is so like out of nowhere funny, like without trying. It's just hilarious. It's a very different kind of funny. I have no idea how to describe it. Very different from Hyper, Kitty, Aki, all the other people we do stuff with. A very different kind of funny, but hilarious. It's very dry humor. An example... God, what's a good example? I uh, We were doing Mythic Zeros and I popped the cooldown. That cooldown unfortunately pops. Oh no 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 no! I have a better example. We were doing Mythic Zeros and he was pouring a bunch of packs on a mount. And I was just like, you know, sitting on my mount as well. 
Suddenly I get aggro of the pack. Ten tilde shy e rave shy e rave. Mind you, I haven't touched the pack, but I get aggro for some reason. I'm literally just breathing, existing. While he's pulling, I don't understand Moist how the fuck I get aggro anyway. Balanced as all things should be. Yes, balanced. <laughs> it literally just happened. So I go, what the fuck is happening? I didn't even touch the pack yet. And then and then Faskin goes, that's the problem. Me neither. <laughs> Foreskin pulling. Foreskin. Ayo. Yeah, we keep calling him foreskin. <laughs> he is the tank. <laughs> it's been like three seconds. <laughs> and it's so funny. He's just like there skinning his mobs as a tank. He's just there skinning. Draw. Dada is just skinning the packs. Right? And he's just like skinning i got a skin and he just like dry as fuck and like and like his is like dry and monotone as voice skin to skin contact all the skin for skin i'm like what the fuck is going on <laughs> what, the, what is happening it's so funny <laughs> but like the thing is me retelling it is funny but his delivery 10 times funnier. I can't wait to swap my streams over to YouTube membership streams because you're gonna have some funny fucking shit there. It's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's it's so good. Yeah, he would make a good streamer. He has a good humor. Since you are a catfish, or I mean an orchid, mm -hmm. do you jump and get scared to death when you find the cucumber right behind you? Let's just say there is a very strong emotion I feel towards a cucumber plopping up behind me, but scared to death ain't one hey, of them. Hey, thank you Unless for it's your a content. very girthy one. <laughs> it's always brought a smile to my face. So I wanted to say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Pierre. You know what? I ain't even mad. It ended insult. Pierre's YouTube consists mainly of clips of me. So I ain't even... No. Can I get a womp womp? I ain't even offended. It's fine. It's still a compliment to me in a way. <laughs> Fuck you. Get played. <laughs> it's all clips of you. I, I just say mostly just to be safe in case there is a singular clip that isn't about me. So I can't I can't be gaslit into like <laughs> actually on PS YouTube there's this one clip of Numi and I'm like, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Cucumberlands like to Lily. Lily, ooh, a new toy. New toy! The channel's literally caught in an eclipse! You know what? Fair. <laughs> nah, it's all about you. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Also, it's been an hour and a half. I think I have loads of time just fucking around chatting, but I think it's time to do ASMR. I don't want to gaslight people too much into Ten months of not coming doing into ASMR. Streams, and most of the time she's talking about foreskin. That's my <laughs> streamer. That's my streamer. Um, quick disclaimer, when we do ASMR, I am not turning off subs, donations, or bits. I don't even think I fucking can. I will mute them, however, and for the most part ignore them, so... If you do it for validation, which you shouldn't do to begin with, but if you do it to make a funny TTS or whatever, ASMR, it doesn't work in ASMR. It, they're, they're muted. Just so you guys know. Just so you know. So no one can be upset. Hi. Blue Exorcist. Hi! Alright, let me... You're gonna have some audio changes while I set this up. I have to remove the gain filter on my headphone output. And turn the volume up fully. Ah! Fuck! Scared the shit out of me, man. Uh, sound bits will be disabled. Yes, yes, yes. Kazam, thank you. Also! No, 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 not a stink bug. Uh, when I emptied the windowsill earlier, I put a bunch of shit on my desk. And one of them I put apparently right at the edge. And it fell off as I was moving shit around and it scared me because I just saw on the I saw in the very corner of my eye in my per per peripheral vision per peripheral vision something dark and black falling and I was like is that a stink bug oh god but per per peripheral yes my pp got vision Gyro. really quick before you do ASMR do you want to finally tell 
Assault two L some dragon flight. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. You know what? Sure, let's do that. Uh, dragon flight. I love the new expansion of World of Warcraft. Dragon flight. Been playing it since it released. It's an absolute bliss. Oh. I'm so sorry for running away, but this huh. has come in a two big L in my opinion. I. <laughs> Um, um, shy thank roll, you so shy much, roll, Shy roll, shy roll, here are your pups after nine months. Thank you, Mega. Appreciate it. <laughs> there we go. Cowgirl, thank you. Stink bug PTSD. Yes, I, I saw something life. fly in my, in my, in the corner of my eye or something big and black and I was like, that's a stink bug. But it found the floor and then, yeah, <laughs> it was fine. It was just a tub of GG. Unsold, unreleased GG. Hey Lily, so NGL, I want to get back into WoW yeah. after a two year break from BFA due to PC problems. Mm. Boo it. Having to buy the expansion and £10 sub a month. It's a lot to ask. I agree, but let me convince you in just a second. Also, first, can get on. Help. 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 Shut up, chat. We want to know the elves. <laughs> well, there they were. The <laughs> Lots of elves. <laughs> wow. Lily is so used Thank to you, being Ginger. roasted and trolled that when she receives an actual compliment, She's put off for a few <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, so far there's two L's in Shadowlands. There's a bunch of stuff I don't quite like, but it's it's not a huge L. It's just like a part of it is just personal preference. But Blizzard has decided to nerf all tanks exceptionally hard because tanks felt so powerful. And let me explain why I think that's a big L. One. There's only two tanks that genuinely are very powerful. Two, nerfing tanks by literally just decreasing, uh, increasing the damage taken by set percentage is the laziest way to buff or nerf literally anything. If something is broken or underwhelming, you need to go into the kit and figure out why it doesn't work. Make it flow, make it work. You can't just tweak numbers and hope for it to work. It's lazy. But also, Tanks, for once, ever since Legion, which is like how many years ago now? Seven, eight years, maybe more, I don't fucking know. Tanks finally feel like tanks and they feel powerful. And they are making such insane nerves. Not only to the two good tanks, but every tank, even the shit tanks. Based on Mythic Zeros. I'm sorry, but the season didn't even start. You couldn't have waited a week or two into actual Mythic Plus to see if if that fear of tanks being too strong is any justified. You, you, you had to literally make or break the game before Mythic Plus even releases based on fucking Mythic Zeros? You have no idea what you're doing if you nerf and buff shit based on Mythic Zeros. For example, Evoker right now in Mythic Zeros is really fucking good, but I guarantee you it will be trash in Mythic Plus because one of the big points of why it's good is because you pull a fresh tank every time you have your 30 second window up, which makes you get maximum benefits of mastery. Once th those packs stay al alive for a long time, Evoker will suck ass. Right now it's good and they're like, oh wow, the damage is not that bad, people are just- No, it's bad. Because of mastery. A big issue is you pull a pack with your 30 second colon interval window. A lot of it, what Evoker has is built around a 30 second window and mastery. So pulling a fresh Let's pack go. every 30 seconds when everything is back up. Of course Evoker will have good numbers. Once Mythic Plus will come out, all the rogues and DKs and all that shit, they will have way bigger numbers. Because the whole point of them is that the pack stays alive and they build up their damage. Right now in Mythic Zeros, you don't have that. You cannot buff and nerf hard through significant number changes in fucking Mythic Zeros. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It just fucking doesn't. It, no, huge L Blizzard, huge L. One is lazy to nerf or buff classes based on nothing but purely percentage on the class. 
Two, why the fuck are you making heavy adjustments to classes based on Mythic Zero? Where the fuck did you get that info from? I don't understand. Second L is the crafting system is great. Love the work orders and everything. They have really tried to make crafting better. The L comes with the... You get your... It's technically like a legendary crafting ingredient. Gyro. Once... You get one piece every two weeks. Why the fuck is there no catch-up mechanic from day one? If you have an old that misses out on getting that piece now... In within that two week window, let's let's say you make an old eight weeks into the expansion. Newt, newt. <coughs> eight, <coughs> eight weeks <coughs> into the expansion. <coughs> because your class sucks. With the class releases, you try to make your class work. It doesn't fucking work. I'm good, don't worry. <coughs> I just choked on my spit. Your class don't work. You decide to make an ult eight weeks into the into the first season. You will forever, as of now, unless I change it, be eight weeks behind on progress. Because you're missing those four pieces that you get once every two weeks from the very beginning. Why didn't I just make a catch up from the very fucking start? Where if you're eight weeks late, you can accumulate four quest lines. You can do back to back to back to back. What is so wrong about a catch-up from the very start? It is so frustrating to make olds already in WoW. And you know what? In a way, I give him credit. You shouldn't get everything for free. Making an old should have some sort of work behind it. But th this time getting thing is annoying. Because no matter how hard you grind and what you do, you will always be those eight weeks behind. No matter what. Until they fix it and make a proper catch-up mechanic, which they hopefully do very soon. And hopefully they fucking hotfix that ASAP. But that's a huge L in my book. Hopefully it gets hotfixed, but knowing Blizzard, it will eventually get hotfixed. Three months into the expansion. Hello? Brian? Let me redo the thing. Lily, have you ever been on a roller coaster? Cause I went to a Knott's Berry farm and I went on a bunch of rides and now I think I need a new stomach. Can I have yours? I love Lalo. roller coasters. That's kind of creepy. I love roller coasters though. <laughs> I got <can't>. stop. <laughs> but that ass jokes aside, I love roller coasters. They're great. Love them. Uh, apart from those two elves, let me sell you the game and convince you. Blizzard, you're about to fucking sponsor me next expansion. I fucking hate you for not sponsoring me. I will never do this fucking marketing thing for you ever again. Like, you, you bet your ass. Look, look at all Let's the people. Go happy Sunday, look at the people, Blizzard! Chai, chai, you better fucking sponsor me next time. I won't say shit about your dumbass game next time. But, um... One of the main reasons to get Dragonflight is one, leveling and questing is fast and satisfying. You have the dragon riding skills and the second you level up the dragon riding, which is for once not time gated, thank you Blizzard. You can literally on day one max out your dragon riding pr profession. It's great. It don't even take all that long. It, it really fucking doesn't. Like maybe an hour at most if you're slow. If you're fast, I bet you can do it in 20 minutes. Gabriel, thank you. But I give you the benefit of the, of the doubt of it taking about an hour because chances are you are like me and you see that one coin Legit and you question. want it bad. What would you do with your long hair on a roller coaster? I put it in a ponytail and I try to sit with my back How against the, the seat at all times. Amazing, thank you, Star Tiles. And uh, so. Questing, leveling, main story, aesthetics of Dragonfly, very great. Not quite Shadowlands great. I think Shadowlands had the best aesthetic of a game so far. Pandaria, probably second best. I love the greenery and 
the, the, the monk shit, it's great. But Shadowlands really best area design because every area feels in exceptionally unique. Dragonfly at the moment, not so much, not nearly as much, but still good, still good, don't get me wrong. So, questing feels great, leveling feels great, dragon riding will be unlocked literally the second you're in a dragon aisle, like, five minutes into the quest line. It's fucking great. I love it. The expansion is great. Mythic dungeons seem fun so far? Difficult to say, because Mythic Plus didn't release just yet, but they seem fun enough so far. I'm afraid of some bosses and packs genuinely for Mythic Plus because they seem to be very easy to vibe on really fucking fast. <laughs> um, the cla most classes feel good and very viable due to the new talent system tree where some classes even as of now go as far as to have multiple viable builds. Um, yeah, lots of shit feels really fucking good right now. It's a good melee expansion. I don't know about raiding, but as of now, melees feel exceptionally strong if you do PvP and uh, Mythic Plus. We'll see how things develop throughout the season with gear and everything. But so far, very melee heavy. If you like melee, that's great. The new class is brain dead easy, so that can be a good thing for some people. It definitely is for me, but it does feel clunky in a way. So if you want to play a class that's easy, but the buttons feel good to press, I rather recommend Demon Hunter, Windwalker Monk, uh, DK, and now there's gonna be all the Windwalker and DK mains in chat that go, actually it's not that easy, your class is easy, deal with that. So, really easy classes, not difficult to fuck up, even with admin maxing you deal good damage. I see. That's very tempting even as a casual mm -hmm, player. Mm -hmm. It's also finances because I have FF14 yeah. and Star, Star yeah. Wars The Old Republic sub going on amongst of other subs. That is... But you're tempting me, that's for Another sure. thing that may tempt you is it's a new expansion. If you want to start it, now's the best time. No one knows the game in and out yet. There's no expectations set already. It's really fucking fun to be a part of an expansion from the very beginning because... You'll learn and experience it together with others. If you start in three months, people expect you to know the basics of Dragonflight. They expect you to know the dungeons, the mechanics, the bosses, what to pull, how fast to pull, which packs to pull together, what to kick, what to dodge, when to pop defenses. Right now, everyone, every man for themselves. It's trial and error. You die to a pack and you realize, wow, this shit hurts on a higher key. Wow, didn't realize this was such an important kick, you know. Quantum, thank you so also much. Womp womp. Womp womp. Um, another thing is, money making in WoW is rather easy without spending obnoxious amounts of time on the game. You can very easily oh pay so far your monthly WoW sub with in-game I am gold. looking forward to what lies ahead. <laughs> thank you so much, Woody King. Vito Kings. Also, sub baby. <laughs> there we go. I wanna know how long does the expansion last? Wait, as in how, how long it's relevant for or generally how long it lasts? I think expansions last on average two to three years, I think. Someone correct me? What a boy, and thank you so much. Picked I appreciate it. Something last week. Finished all the M0 top DPS. It's legit six buttons. Easy yep. AF. Only annoying how it sound like you are fapping when you slap enemy. <laughs> Perfect. There's a lot of classes that are very casual friendly because, like I said, all the Windwalk and DK mains will tell you how difficult it is to min-max them. I and love playing my DH. I press four buttons and I win yes. others. Like all the, all the Windwalk and mains, DK mains, and Demon Hunter mains will tell you how difficult it is to min-max the class, the BM Hunters. The class is easy and even when not played optimal at all whatsoever, you have very high DPS. Unlike some classes where, for example, Frost Mage, if you don't fucking shatter your goddamn shit, you deal fuck all damage. If that's still the playstyle, I don't know. But that's just one example of many where if you don't know a core mechanic and don't do it right, you are lacking DPS heavily. Like a Fire Mage who doesn't know his combat rotation, awful. 
awful. They will have, they will have to get hard carried. A fucking monk who doesn't keep up hit combo all that well and spends maybe spinning crank kick one or two many times. Whatever, they're still gonna do real good DPS, genuine good DPS. Sure, they won't be top DPS, and you know, uh, there's plenty of room for improvement. But unlike the fire mage who doesn't know how to fuck, he can do a combust rotation. That fire mage will deal fuck all damage. He will be useless. Genuinely useless. That demon hunter, if he finds his I beam button, he will somewhat be useful. If that if that monk fucks up hand combo but manages to press his shiny buttons, useful. Thank you so much, Kitty! For the five gift. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, thank you. Just like me on DK right now. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. I guess DK is the somewhat harder of the bunch. Unholy, that is. Maybe Frost if you go with the breath build, if that's still a thing. I wouldn't fucking know. But popping them sores ain't all that difficult of a fucking concept. It may be difficult right now because Mythic Plus... Uh, Mythic Zeros seem very fast paced because pack stones stay alive for very long. But trust me, the the longer packs stay alive, the easier the player style becomes because you have so much fucking time to build up your fucking shit, it's insane. Yeah, tanks are too tanky. Ten percent more damage across the board. Disappointed. It'd be like that. Don't like that. And uh yeah. So um that's my selling point as to why you should get into Dragonflight. Yeah, it collected two elves, but chances are half the people don't even care about those two elves. And when it comes to the monthly fee, now more than ever, it's so easy so to make the money again. Wow, classes are like pimples. You have to pop them at the right you time. You have to pop them at the right time. There's definitely some classes where you need to somewhat know what to do. If you play an outlaw rogue and you don't know how the fuck you can keep a uh, blade flirt. Was, is it called blade flurry still? What's it called? I think it's called blade flurry. I don't know. I just I just press orange button. I don't fucking know what it's called. I just press orange button cause orange. If if you're an outlaw rogue, insane DPS. But if you fuck up keeping up blade flurry, which ain't all that difficult. But if you if your short term memory doesn't fuck fucks that up, you're womp just womp. like the fire mage who does not know how to combust. Useless. Womp womp hello there. Womp womp Sonic. Thank you. Press the button to do things, top DPS, yes. If you like to press loads of buttons, then Outlaw might be a thing, cause it's a lot, a lot, a lot of buttons. But it's a lot to keep track of too. Like I said, if you zone out a lot, or if you don't think fast enough, or if you use your Blade Fury literally to finish off a 5% HP mob, and then the tank pulls a pack, you'll have fuck all damage, cause you need to get Blade Fury up first. But, yeah. Outlaw is not that much of a gamble. Of course, it still has the gamble thing. You still have to roll the dice. But literally, be like me. Get a weak R that tells you when to roll. Get a weak R that tells you you have no buffs active and shows the roll icon. Get a weak R that, that also keeps in mind what buffs you have. Some buff combinations are awful and you want to rather reroll this. If you have a really shitty buff, there's a big aura that literally tells you when to press the button. You will never have to worry about RNG. It doesn't fucking work. Like, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Who cares? As a paladin main, even though I love the light, the lore, others see, it's time to convert uh, to a tank or monk for DPS. Yes. Don't be stupid it's like me. It's good shit, it's good shit. No, but if you're like outlaw, but you're very put off by the fact that you have to roll for buffs, I guarantee Outlaw is dead ass, mind-blowingly busted right now. So if you like the concept of pressing many buttons very fucking fast, energy, combo points, and being stealthy, go play Outlaw, because there's a VGR that literally tells you when to press the roll button. Because this VGR considers everything. What buffs you have, how much more time you have on the buff, what buff combinations, if you have adrenaline rush up and only a singular shitty buff, shit like that. It's really fucking easy. The weak aura literally holds your hand and tells you when to press shiny button. Anyway, yes, we should do ASMR. I'm sorry, I am so dedicated. I love WoW too much. Ah! 
Why does everything fall off my desk? Yes, ASMR. Sorry, I brought up WoW and derailed you. No. <laughs> I love talking about WoW. But let's go do ASMR. Okay, um... You are very, 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 very welcome to... Womp womp. So womp womp. Yes, I agree. Thank you, Fox Race, for the five months. But which class is the easiest to play one-handed while I'm watching my Duba waifu streams? <laughs> Evoker. To be honest, if you have an MMO mouse, that has, um... Uh, uh... Dune Hunter. Yes. Who's easy? Corgo 100, Corgo 100, Corgo 100, Corgo 100. Bind your. Corgo, what the fuck is the resource called? I, if, if a class has a resource, it's fucking energy to me. Unless Lily it's mana. If it's blue, it's mana. If it's any other color, it's energy. I don't give a shit. Why Lily hasn't responded for months. <laughs> I. <laughs> Pierre just That's wants untrue. to keep the bubble half. Yes, he does. But that adds, if you haven't have an MMO mouse, literally bind your. Your combo point generator and combo point spender to mouse wheel up and down. Put your main rotation on a mouse. Easy. You can literally play a one handed. Same goes for Demon Hunter. Put your whatever the fuck your resource is called. Your your, your resource generator and spender on a mouse wheel up and down. Scroll a fucking mouse wheel as you put the rest of your rotation on the mouse buttons. You literally don't need a second hand to play those classes. I swear. Monk, similar as well. Uh, may have a few more shiny buttons, but very similar. Also very much playable with one hand if you put your shit on one mouse. No, it's five buttons? Well, I have 12 buttons on my mouse. Though I only use nine, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, WoW is probably one of the first reasons people get into MMO mouse, m mice. Because it's very useful, very useful. Honestly, if there was a middle finger emote in WoW, that would be amazing to see a Pally do that a bubble heart thing. Yes. But I mean, you can always slash me and then middle finger or something. <laughs> Exhaled. Okay, Brian just... I might play Outlaw one-handed. Guess you have a point. Honestly, playing Outlaw one-handed is impressive, because I think I would have to Dada's use... You know what? No, never mind. Well, it depends. Rotation to do DPS? Yes. But Outlaw has a lot of... You have a fuck ton of utility you're expected to use in a dungeon. Gouge, blind, zap, uh, kidney, stun, all those things. So... But if you if you're just talking I'm damage, shy, absolutely, so yeah, you can play outlaw on your fucking mouse one handed. What mouse do you use? Uh, a Corsair mouse. But I know one of my mods knows what mouse I use. It's a Corsair. I don't know which one exactly. Skimitar. Yes, thank you. It's it's a Corsair Skimitar. Yeah, it has a MMO. It's an MMO mouse, and the, the trackpad for the extra buttons is height adjustable, which is one of the main features I like about the mouse. Uh, couldn't care less about what mouse I use, but the fact that I have very small fingers and I can adjust that pad to be very far down is great, because I can actually use the... Yeah, it's really nice. It's, 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 very, it's very, very pretty. Feels nice too, very right? smooth buttons. The buttons feel very quality. The mouse feels a bit rough. Uh, I have very girly, sensitive fingers. And uh, the mouse wheel is just fine, trust me. I, I trust me, but um, I scroll a lot and it's a very easy to grip mouse wheel. I prefer smoother mouse wheels because, yeah. I get sore on my finger because it's it's a very how do I what's it called like the lines are very deep in the mouse sword wheel. mouse perfect for a biratorka yeah yes yes 
The curved sword mouse. But yeah, I have I have girly thin fingers, so having such a easy to grip mouse wheel, which is probably the best thing for literally everyone, isn't for me because yeah. You could middle drag? No, like I have my skills on my mouse wheel. I I usually have like combo point gainers and spenders on my mouse wheel or any other skill I spam. Because if you put skills you spam on mouse wheel up and mouse wheel scroll down, you don't have to do. You just do. So for as long as I am trying to produce... I really like my Corsair Scimitar MMO yes. mouse. The adjustable position for the right? size buttons it's so, is so nice. I feel like we are biased towards it because I'm going to just assume you and I probably have small hands. Hello, and I Lily think most of my old mouse are three. designed with male hands in mind and the trackpad is always too far up. So being able to make it a lot lower is great. But anyway, if you bind those things to your mouse wheel, as long as you are generating energy or combo points, you can just keep scrolling up. And the second you want to deplete it, you scroll down once, and then you keep scrolling up. The second you want to deplete it, you scroll down once, or the opposite. I don't fucking care. You do you. So, yeah. It's much better than... Because that makes my finger way more tired than just... But yeah, I, I love the mouse wheel, but I have very sensitive fingers and the, 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 the rigidness of the mouse wheel is, is very good, too good. Cause yeah, I get sore cause I use it so much. Uh, I'm gonna go pee and then we do ASMR, finally, I promise. When I'm back, we are troubleshooting ASMR audio and getting into ASMR. I, I, I have led you on for long enough. I love you. to you. All right. I pissed and didn't clean my dick. Let's go. <sighs> As promised, ASMR. Womp womp. Ah, got out. Thank you. I'm tier three. <laughs> yeah, dirty dick ASMR. Yeah, why would I want? Why would I need to? Dick clean. It's fine. Okay, so quick disclaimer. I am not. An ASM artist, I do it cause it's fun, and I like to I like to do fun and experimental things. I have this scene right here, and I also have a chat here. And I wonder if what if I put this chat here, just to test real quick the purple chat, cause it will be. Let's braid. I wonder if it works. Just to see. Nah, the contrast isn't strong enough, is it? If I pull purple chat here. Do you have an exit like code? I used to, not anymore. I was actually sponsored by them once, but I didn't like that deal because 
They don't spot. They didn't sponsor me. They only affiliated me, and I don't like those sponsor deals. Do we like purple? I don't know. Do we like it? Let me see. Give me a hot second. Need to find where the fuck. Purple's nice. Yeah, I think purple is a little hard to see, isn't it? I can try and find a darker chat for next time. This is the purple version, but I think it's too dark, unfortunately. I don't think it works. Does it? You can keep it if you like it, but I just don't think. It probably isn't. It ain't that great. Looks fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it not too bright, cause I'll, I'll I'll be like this, like so. Ah, Brian, what's going on? Your concerns about it, but it's fine. You like it better? Actually, I like the purple more. I can keep it purple. I can try to make it ever. Give me give me a hot second. I think I can keep it purple. But if I add a filter that ramps, amps up the contrast, I think it will be genuinely okay. All right, chat likes purple. Let me fuck around with a filter to see if it works. Where's filter? Here. Color correction. It. No, that's not it. Oh, this is already quite nice, isn't it? So now it's dark purple, but it's much easier to see. That's good, sir. I like it. I like it. I'm happy. Okay, not too dark. No, 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 no. Very nice and easy on the eyes with dark ASMR. Yeah, I'm trying to make it dark because people say that that I have YouTube Premium and that I have to like keep the thing open and they can't lock their phones for the audio and they want it to be like a dark thing so it's nicer. I'm happy it works. Good shit. Am I gonna have the hat on? Nah, it's too large. No head is better. Oh yeah, and it uses less battery, which is probably really good. What about a heartbeat? Yes, sir. Let me take my sweater off already to do heartbeat shit. Uh, my bra, I mean. Sweater stays on. <laughs> I have just very weird, irrational fear that, I don't know. It's not sus. You ain't seeing shit anyway. Yeah, the head also makes it hard to see chat. Plus, I guess it defeats the purpose of being less bright for once. <sighs> Shouldn't have taken this bra off the bottom way around. My ass too fat. But we managed. I didn't want to take my sweater off, so I just like took my bra off like a like a pair of pants. <laughs> my sports bra. Ass too fat. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Kaka too big, dude. Kaka too big. Sports bra. <laughs> All right, boys. Um. Audio chance. What happened to... Why is it the purple suddenly so bright? What, wait, 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 what happened? Did I misclick on the filter? 
Oh, I think it's the contrast. Yeah. Yes, ASMR time. Okay, the emails look a bit washed out, but what's important is that it's somewhat readable without being too bright, because the white chat is very, very bright. We are doing a body pillow very soon. We are working on three versions of it. Three versions of lewdness. So they're all loot, but we go from loot to hentai, basically. With a step in between. Alright. Ah! Bro, why is everything falling? Oh, I think I know why. I'm pulling it on my phone. I'm pulling my phone vibrates. Is that why? Is I not touching anything? I put my phone there for now. I hope I don't step on it later. Did something spill? Uh, it did. Let me clean that real quick. <laughs> I'll just use my sock. <laughs> Get off! Fuck! I have no tissue and I'm lazy. So I'm using the sock. Ah, uh, boom. Finito. I'll take the other sock off too, I don't wanna... <laughs> Having only one sock on feels weird! Just get something from the kitchen? No, the sock is fine! <laughs> the sock is fine! Up. I think I can apply a more blue heel. Give me a second. Or maybe... This, this might be nice, who knows? Oh, right, that's the wrong button. I think this would be nicer. Yeah, I think I like it more. Tiny difference. Okay, do do do. Test test. Okay. I'll swap the audio real quick. I'll mute this. Don't panic. And I'll do this. Yes! It works, right? Hello. It's good. Right? I think. A bit echoey. Echo, echo. Why is there an echo? I wonder. One ear? On my audio monitor, both work. Is it just one? This is one ear. This is the other. Sounds like when you have the Sona thing on. Hmm. You know what? Let me disable Sona just in case. It might fuck all the audio, but no panic. Ta-da! Any difference? 
audio a bit low. I'll keep it in mind. It sounds better. Did the echoey thing go away? Better? Yes? Nice. I'm happy. It sounds no different to me. None. <laughs> I can add more bass, I think. Give me a sec. To make it sound less hollow, I believe. Oh, it already has max bass. <laughs> it's already got the bass slider is already all the way up. Is it still echoey? Let me turn the background music off. I think it's fading in and out because I have a, a noise gate. And without the uh, noise gain, the gate doesn't pick up the very quiet music. I hear you twice. Why twice? The noise gate is too much? I can change it. Hold up. I don't know why I'm twice. Why am I twice? What's causing the twice? I only hear once? Sounds fine. Not twice. I don't see an echo dragging on the indicator. Test. Test. Boop. Boop boop. Hmm. Sounds good? No echo? Weird. Alright, thank you. Uh, noise gate too aggressive. I can turn off the noise gate. This should be it. This removes the noise gate fully. But I believe there may be background noise? Better or worse? Or no difference? Background? Yeah, then you have the background noise. Yeah. Um, better with the gate on. Alright. Because I think with noise gate, I can turn it on to almost... Like this? I think now I can hear the PC. Oh, I know why it's echoey. You hear my headset, I think. It's too loud. I have it turned on too loud. So you hear me through the headset, because I hear myself too. But I need to hear myself so I know if it's like too loud or not. Echo, echo. It's fine, but audio got loud. Is this better or... Let me do the test, alright? Test, test, test. So, test number one. One sec. Let me take my watch off, sorry. Because I know I will scrape it on the desk and it will be loud. Okay, quick test to see which... One you like better, so one ear, the other ear. And then real quick for talking test. Test test. One, two, three, one, two, three. 
test, test. One, two, three. Are we too loud? Too quiet? Are we peeking the audio? Hello. One, two, three. Test, 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 test. Perfect. Okay. Even though chat says that this one is perfect, I still want to test the other option I have set up. This would be option number two. One. Two. Number one. Is it too loud? Too loud, too loud. Test, test, test. Is it too loud? Yes. Alright. Everyone is in favor of one. Beep, boop, beep, boop. I'm muting the alerts now, and I think sound alerts, yeah, the alert is up. Alright, perfect. Yeah, option 2 may have been too crisp. I want to add that the noise gate was good. I think the whole release time needed to be slightly longer. Let me see. Pop oh no, not proper GS filters. Settings. Um, the release time is on 50, I'm guessing that's milliseconds, 50 milliseconds. I don't know what the hold time is, which of those settings. I have ratio, which is 2.0, threshold, which is minus 40, that might be it, attack, 10, release, and output time, which is zero. Thank you, Asper, you too. For everyone who is here for not ASMR, we are gonna start the ASMR in just a second. And, uh, <laughs> Morning voice ASMR. You know what? At some point, I might actually get into that. <laughs> Maybe. At some point, I think it'll be manageable. I'll have to find. I would have to set it up in the evening so I can do it in the morning without having to set up. Because the longer I awake, the more. Morning voice fails. <laughs> now, the problem I have is that I struggle to hear what I'm saying because I have to turn my headset down, which is probably why most ASM artists wear in ears and not headsets. <laughs> Let me try. To cup it real good against my head with no gaps, so I can turn it up a little bit so I can hear what I'm doing, hopefully, without you having an echo. I hope <laughs> if you have an echo, let me know. Maybe we can nail the ASMR without me hearing myself. Which is a very funky experience to hear yourself when you speak because your speech is ever so slightly delayed by like, I don't know, like 
a quarter of a second. You hear yourself, but like an echo of yourself. It slows down your speech in a way because you're waiting for your own response and feedback. <laughs> it's very distracting. Yeah, I'm like interrupting myself. <laughs> There's no echo so far. I'm glad I did turn it up a little bit. So, now I can hear at least a little bit what I'm doing, just slightly. <laughs> I've seen a video where people can't talk with feedback. Honestly, I can see that, yeah. <laughs> it's very confusing to your brain to have feedback. I get it. I got used to it. First ASMR was a while. Because I was like, I need to hear what I'm doing, but at the same time, I can't handle myself talking to me. <laughs> it's weird. Can you nuff 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 in my ear? Nuff nuff. Is nuff nuff a trigger? Nuff 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 nuff. <laughs> nuff 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 nuff. <laughs> Sounds like a fart. A silent one. Nuff. Nuff. <laughs> Thank you, Kula, for the raid. Welcome. Welcome, raiders. Hello. Um, num. Num. That's enough of that. <laughs> the sound of smelling. The thing is, I have very little feedback now, so I don't know at what point I peak the mic when I do stuff like... I also don't know at what point it's still too quiet and doesn't really get picked up. just have to look at the audio bars and hopefully if I stop before they hit the red area, I'll be fine. <laughs> I could try to turn my heads up audio up. Just a little more. Let me know when you hear me through my headphones. You can be honest. We can work around. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll find out how to connect my AirPods to my PC. That'd be helpful, I think. <laughs> yeah, I am monitoring my audio mainly through the interfaces. But on my audio interface, when I talk, it almost consistently peaks into the red area. On my OBS audio monitor, it doesn't. It barely hits the yellow, so I think I'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> I wonder how this sounds. Try both sides. Both well, feels too powerful. Should I talk quieter? <laughs> Should we whisper? Am I too loud?
Try to talk a little bit more like this because maybe it's selfish, but um, when I talk like this, I feel like it's my ASMR. Does that make sense? As if everyone can whisper, but if the ASMR sounds like me. Be happy because it's my voice. <laughs> but if I whisper, it sounds like everyone, you know? Everyone can whisper. <laughs> it loses um, personality, but that's very selfish. <laughs> yeah. That's why. I try really hard to make the not whisper part work. <laughs> because, yeah, sometimes I'm selfish. <laughs> but I think um, selfish, the word selfish has a very negative meaning nowadays. It is selfish. chose not to because I'm selfish and I don't want to stress throughout my day. Same with Wednesday. I'm not stream Wednesday because <laughs> Mythic Plus releases in WoW. Louder. Am I not loud enough? a fine line between self-care and selfishness. <laughs> I am definitely tiptoeing that line. <laughs> I do want to, I think, next week start the YouTube member streams. I think
very sad. Humans are selfish by nature, but his is it does become bad selfish if you hurt others in the process. Yeah. Hello Bonnie. Well, your first stream is gonna be ASMR stream. social shit <laughs> so yeah I have nothing against that personally but yeah the licking I don't know what it is about the licking maybe it's it will be sensual It's 
it's not like a, a French kiss, making out kind of thing, just like a... <laughs> it's cute. No link. No link kisses. Nail tapping ASMR. Well... try nail against nail, but I am lazy and ghetto, <laughs> and I have yet to buy a mic stand for this ASMR mic, <laughs> so I'm still holding the mic with one hand as I am moving it from side to side.
streaming. 
just feels nice in my ears. <laughs> and I also very much like
it's art, it's culture, and it looks fucking hot. Who cares? People read too much into things nowadays. <laughs> like, there's no meaning behind the art piece. I just like
Someone said that we should hunt a silent night and I think I can do that. I think that would work out really well. So let's try. I'm down. Let's try that.
use the muscle. 